And so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes, a small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision-making. With the kingdom on the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head, but only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight, a decision of immense importance, a decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. Oh my God, you've made the wrong choice. You didn't think things through. You've doomed us all! Everything's on fire now! We're all covered in fire! How could you have done this to us? Lil! Lil! What? Oh, Dad, I was... Oh, I must have been having a nightmare. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake, I think it's time you and I had the talk. Out of one nightmare and into another. Sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life. Well, Dad, you don't have to do this. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bed on the goblin ball match down at the pub. Aw, oh, Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I... I want to throw rocks at things! You think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bet at the goblin ball match down at the pub. Did he ever win anything? Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? But I'm 12. Won't we get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Come on. I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. Okie dokie. Ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? Oh good. Everyone loves a tutorial. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad! Someone's coming! What do we do? Uh, okay. I guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Ah! Good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. How's your day today? Plain and boring, as always. Bingo! Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all! It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. It's Hamish. What is? Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. I'd like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? After they state their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. You can click on them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Not really.
really? What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. I've really got to speed this along. The Goblin Ball game is about to start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? Oh, no, not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is whirly gigging the ceremonial first slingshot. <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters, we gotta get to that game. Let's wrap this up, dear. Seamus, tell the girl what to do. The name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. Didn't we cover this? That's your inventory bag where you keep the things people give you or that you confiscate from them. In other words, your sweet, sweet loot. Looking in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. Feeling stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help, but all they'll really give you is their opinion. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Hello, who's there? Or First Councilwoman Ash, the head bureaucrat of the Sprawl, with a real mind for politics. This is Councilwoman Ash. Hello? Hello, is somebody there? And finally, the Royal Jester Malcolm, chaos personified in human form. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd the goose go? Well, chase after it, for goodness sake. Each call costs an action point. Our tools. If you want to use a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Here, I'll show you. I'll add today's crystals to the tools that don't have any. That way I have a well-rounded arsenal. Why do the other tools already have crystals in them? I carried them over from previous days. Any other questions? Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? No more questions. Truth spray. You spray it, and they tell the truth. Honestly, that's what it does. You can use this decoder ring to decode things. Not exactly sure how it works. The instructions were written in some kind of code. It's a metal detector. You figure it out. This x-ray scanner can see through most types of clothing, flesh, and bone. It uses low-grade radiation. Do not use on trolls. <laughs> no humming. You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in, or send them. Choosing this will end the tutorial. Can I finally get out of here? Now you can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn, but sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to- Sometimes? Yeah, 
And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am right now, so just pick a damn lever already. Great job, Lil. Your mother would be so proud to see you now. After my delivery, I'm off to watch the big game. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are gonna win it today. Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we, Hamish? My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not all. Oh. I better go. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. More like I'm being forced to do this. It's only for today, I swear. Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. Good luck. Good luck with your illegal gambling. I don't need luck. Believe me, he does. Okay, Lil, you got this. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Brielle and Darunia Athanatos. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Will you require anything further? never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Admit the mage and my people will escort him to the venue. family heirloom. Generations of powerful magic wheelers have imbued an essence of themselves in I will not part with that locket. You will not part with that locket. Huh. Thank you. You have a keen eye, young guard. Potential. I see potential here. What's your speech about? Oh, my dear child. It is obvious to me that you do not possess a magical bone in your body, and my speech, therefore, would only serve to confuse and frighten you. I trust you know what you're talking about. I am very glad you agree. You can hold your head high knowing that you are aiding a greater good today. The House of Thanatos, and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. You will go far.
charmed to make your acquaintance, young gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Briel and Darunia Athanatos. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight. Will you require anything? What's your speech about? Oh, my dear child. It is obvious to me that you do not possess a magical... I doubt that. I think I could figure it out. And many non-magical beings have attempted to learn the arts, and many of those have gone mad trying to even comprehend them. Be warned. The Festival of Magical Freedom, anyway. Tonight hundreds, maybe thousands, of like-minded mages, shamans, witches, wizards, and warlocks will gather to express our rights to use our gods' given talents without having to bend our knee to the preposterous laws of lesser beings. Lesser beings like me? Precisely. I imagine you don't have to check your ego at the door at an event like this. You can just bring it right in with you. That is exactly the kind of thing a smag, a non-magical being would say. Now enough of this foolishness. Let me pass. The House of Thanatos, and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. Good afternoon! I am here to pick up my two kids from the no-good, stingy, low-life of a father, who happens to be my lying, cheating, low-life of an ex-husband, Orlando. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Believe me, I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for once. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. It says, Come, son, mommy, Kelly is nightmare. Does that make sense to you? Oh my god! My boys don't know how to spell! But also, that thing about Kelly being the worst! So that's Kelly isn't as fun as she's made out to be! If anything, she's making my kids miserable. I've never been so happy in my life! Oh my god, I need to get my kids right now! What's your game plan? First, I'll make sure my boys are safe. Next, I'll s*** Kelly's so hard that it'll f*** up Orlando's I knew I never should have introduced them to each other. Kelly was my hairdresser. Was is the key word. Can I go get my kids now? People come and go, but no matter what, you'll always be those kids' mother. You're right. 
I will be, no matter who that low-life jerk ex-husband Orlando dates. Thank you for saying that. for ya. Good luck. What in the bloody blazing blasted hell is the hold up? Why have we stopped, Welp? Well, sir, the guard... Silence! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip! Yes, sir. Now, you, child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. B.S.? Bank of the sprawl. Well, that's unfortunate. That's a lot of cheddar. No, ma'am. It is gold. Silence! Yes, it is gold, but it is legitimate. Certainly not blood gold, if that's what you were thinking. Well, I wasn't before you said anything. I think I'll have to take a sample of this for, you know, science. Why, you greedy little urchin. I think I like you more than ever. Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable, petty little monster. Hmm, I wonder what the stamp on these gold bars means. Maybe it's decodable. I'd like to take a closer look at those gold bars. The symbols on these gold bars are definitely not issued by the Bank of the Sprawl. This is blood gold and definitely illegal! Blood gold? We've been on the lookout for mules bringing it into the Sprawl for years now. Deny this man immediately. Well spotted guardsman, you are a credit to the force. Isn't it? Nasty, deceptive creatures. What about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave the goblin tied up outside like the cur he is. But, sir, the gold! Silence! All right, you rotten little girl, I'll go. But you will rue the day you crossed me. Lil, you gotta close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Well, she's disappeared. Nobody saw anything or knows where she went. And any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? <laughs> I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important. Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me.
Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian of the Southern Gate, step forward into... What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Lil, you have been chosen. To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, it's time for... So You Think You Can Save a Princess! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventure number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neo War Killer. Adventure number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flamehead. And finally, adventure number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good, let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen! I don't... I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite! Now, Lil, you're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. Hmm, Dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. All right, Lil, what would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? What's your idea of a perfect rescue? And who would you like to ask? Two words, smoke bombs. Makes everything so much cooler. Best heists are ones where they don't even realize they are being robbed. Ocean's Eleven style, baby. You can ask another adventurer if you like. It begins with me vaporizing a few low-level lackeys on the type. Uh, then we build to a dramatic face-off as a superior villain. Lightning flashes, mythical beasts are summoned and dispatched, all the fireworks come out. I cast a transfiguration spell, turning our would-be kidnapper into a small cricket. Or a mouse, or... It just has to be small, so I can keep it with me as a reminder of my awesome powers. And your second question is... You are waylaid by bandits. What do you do? And who's that one for? How many bandits? Eleven? Twelve? <laughs> Simple. I rip out the throat of the first, so the coward cannot warn their coward friends. Before the rest know what has hit them, I have. I pile the bodies of the dead fools high in the air and burn them as a warning to all others who would dare get in my way. Ooh. You can ask another adventurer if you like. 
bandits are no issue. I could conjure an army of sparrows or moles or whatever small creature best suited my purpose. Wouldn't it be better to conjure larger animals? Maybe something more ferocious? More ferocious than a mole? <laughs> Actually, I'm not licensed to conjure anything bigger than a bread box, but, but they really are scary. What's a guy gotta do to get picked for a question around here? I got some exciting answers! Let's stick to the format, folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please, wait your turn. Hmm, a warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she... All right, Neil, calm down now. Hmm, hmm, you are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. <sighs> Uh-oh, looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of Berserker mode! Ooh. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a- Don't look at me! Or you can try, but I'll be out of here! Smoke bomb! Blood Together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Neil, look at this little fella. <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. I am calm. Phew. I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. <sighs> Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready? I think I got one more round in me. Lil, what's your final question? What are your plans after you rescue the princess? And you're asking? This rescue will be incredibly high profile, and I hope to use it as a springboard to a placement on the High Council of the Mages Guild. From there, mm, the sky's the limits. Well, two four-year terms followed by a lifetime pension is the limit, but still, not too shabby. You can ask a for a warrior such as myself, there is no after. We live and die in the moment with no thought of what is to come. Retirement plans are for suckers. Uh-oh, you know what that means! I have no idea what that means. This is so stupid. You're stupid! That sound means it's time for the lightning round! Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. All right, Perry, are you ready for the lightning round? I am. Oh, too bad. Looks like that wasn't as enlightening as we'd hoped. <laughs> That wasn't real, right? Uh-oh, you know what that sound means! Oh god, not again! My conscience can't take much more of this! That sound means we are out of time! Alright, Lil, now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? Ladies and gentlemen, humans and other ones, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is... Articulous Flame Hands, the maid! Aha! 
wonderful child. Well chosen. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pet population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody! Thank you.